start of the fight. Oh, great increased critical strike damage, that's right. Whenever he attacks somebody and I hit the, the timed hit for the critical strike. blah de blah de blah de blah I get to knock him over with a heck of a lot more damage. Oh boy. Yeah, let's get the elders back in power. Raxia can stick it up his nose. Bump! Guard this up your butt. That's great. Apparently you can apply a fire da DOT and a poison DOT on the exact same time on the same guy. That's awesome. I did not realize that until just now. Alright, so... Ch -ch 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 -choom. Hey, look at that. I knew there was something down here. You silly little kid. You nitwit. Goober monkey! Alright, da, da, da. come on, go, 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 go. Trial Bog Elder! Nice pagoda, you must be the Trial Bog Elder. That's what I just said. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna get around here. Whatever that's worse anymore, these people used to mean something. Raxia and his repugnant eyes trashed most of our Trial Bog culture when they took over. That's a bummer. You guys seem so steeped in culture, of course. Well, but not all is lost. Legend has it that the tome of the Trollbog still exists deep in a cliff somewhere. Ow. <coughs> yes, we get to go on the rickety catwalks. This is going to be fun. Trollbog's morale depends on it. So let's go ahead and get that. There's a couple houses down there, but we're going to have to come back anyway in a moment. Sometime. Soon. For that. So we'll go ahead and kill this guy. Because we're not getting our other costume in time. Tun run! And here we go with the riggedy old catwalks. Wants humans in your heritage site. Well, yeah. Because apparently you guys are fat. All of you. You fatty, fathead McFattersons. Oh, come on. There we go. Whee! Look at that catwalk down there. I wonder what that leads to. Well, I want to know more. Sacred Trailball Caves of Confusion. And candy. Lots of candy. I'm gonna pick up all the candy. Well, oh, I missed this one over here. Got it! It is gonna be a confusing place. A little bit. If you, you don't quite catch immediately what it is you have to do. What do you suppose that means? Well, it looks like a piece of candy corn. It looks like candy corn is pointing that way. So, I'm pretty sure we can figure out how to go this way. And we got dust falling on all the exits. So actually, uh, all of our other costumes will actually get some use. Wow, it's a lot of candy. 
And that's even more candy. Candy, candy, candy. Candy! Yay. That'll break that. Go on. I'm back home. Something feels different now. Probably this. No, this was the one we just went through before. It's this one. Yeah, if you go through the wrong exit, you go back to where you started. So, let's see. So, here we got four exits. And actually, this time, only one of them has the dust on it. So, I'm going to crack that first. And then we'll go travel through. So, that we just had... And now we have a hole. Nope, it's a dark spot. We had a bright light. I wonder where we can find a bright light. I told you that they're very generous with the hints in this point. We got a symbol on the ground. It looks like one of those eyeball present things, like this symbol up here. Whack that and go on. And we have a great big mess of crap over here in the middle. Which is funny, because this one can be a little confusing. Because it's a candy corn, which looks like it's pointing upwards, but it also has that symbol in it, which tells us to go left. So, let's go left. And apparently the symbol worked. Good. Lots of candy gain. More candy, more candy, more candy! We're almost full again. Wow. Gee, for Pella, I can hold 2,000 pieces of candy. It's sure getting full pretty quickly. And we're back here. Back at home with the left entrance this time. Alright, so we've got a darkness. Tells us to go up. Little smiley face X's. We got another dark spot. Which has a Charles Boggian hieroglyph and seems like he's pointing to the right. So let's break crap and then we'll go right. Vuj. And now we have a repo the arc soldier jerk face. And no clues as to where to go. Well, let's go fight him. Now, the reason we fight him is because he's actually the clue that tells us where to go. It's the door behind him. Which brings us to what we know is the correct room because it didn't bring us all the way back to the very beginning, like all the other doors would. So here we are with another, another semi-confusing one because it's kind of a Trobog hieroglyph. The face that looks exactly like that face down below, except with a little bit more hair and details. But he's got a candy corn up there that's pointing up, like the second one was. But it also has a symbol that's pointing to the right! So let's try following the symbol and see if that's correct. And indeed it is! Alright, so now we got a book with that ugly Trowbog pick on it. So let's try that way. And getting all the symbols at least once. Use brings us to a nice little treasure chest over here. I wonder what's in it. Yay! It's the book! Now we can go deliver it. Let's go deliver it. We shall deliver the book. The book. Doom. Oh, it was a joke book. What? Well, good. No, it was forcing me to stay because I don't want to. Alright, so let's go finish taking care of the rest of these houses down here. That one's a fight. Ah, poor Reynolds. He must have gotten so tuckered out from having to play through all of, tri of, uh, mon yeah, of Monster Quest. Of po costume... Yeah, Pocket Quest. Of Costume Quest, the main game, that he ended up getting all knocked out from those guys in that battle. Oh, that stinks. Oh, wow, this bag can actually hold more than 2,000 candy. That is impressive. Alright, uh, we got some ramps. Let's try them out. There's some candy over here. I wonder what a satellite view of this place would look like. 
Well, you know, there's a way to find out. We don't quite have it yet. Hopefully we should. I should. I don't know why I do. But over here, we just have a little cave with a little cup guy. Called Charlie. That's not a costume. Have you seen chimney sweeps around here? Chimney sweeps? Yes. That is actually uh, the main character of another Double Fine downloadable game. Called Stacking. Which I've played the demo before and it looks pretty fun. It's kind of cool. Uh, maybe someday I'll buy it and download it and play it and whatnot, but... Not, not, not yet. It was fun enough. It's got great humor. You're just running around as this little cup guy called Charlie. And, you know, he's the smartest little, the smallest little cup guy, which is... Oh, it drops us off here. This is why you end up playing as him. And the idea is to go in and... Oh, come on, there it is. Okay, I'm missing two. He goes around and... In order to save his family, he has to kind of... Abduct, in a way. Uh, other characters who all have special skills. Some of them... And, to run around and things like that, and they're all of different sizes, and you have to... Ha you actually have to stack yourself to an appropriate size character. So, you know, because you're a little tiny Charlie, who's the smallest stacker thingy ever. Skeleton of the wolf. Yeah, we'll go with that. Well, because you're the smallest one ever, you know, you have you end up having, you know, first find a kid to stack into, and then, you know, a little man, or a little person, I guess, one, like a bigger kid, or... You know, like a, one of the midget adults. Something like that. One and... Things like that. And some are pretty cool. You get some of the really big ones. Ooh, do we have your stacking cards yet? Hey, just so happens we did come across it. Yay, there you go. We got one in return. Getting all the creepy tree cards in this game doesn't really do anything, I don't think. I don't remember. Oh, hey, look at that. There's that hole. And look at that! Some creepy paper. I wonder if that must be for our eyeball costume. Well, actually, yes. No, that way. That way? Yes, it is. We got one more costume piece for that material. Got one more, one more material for the eyeball. And one more costume to find. Now, if you remember correctly, not all the costumes in the main game had to be piece together. I mean, your main character, whoever you choose it to be, and ever both come with their own, and uh, da -da -da, the black cat, you know, you got instantaneously, once you got all the creepy treat cards, and uh, 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 you know what? Uh, 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 hold on. A french fry you got in one piece. The... Yeah, that's it. Just those four. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Yeah. Those four costumes all came in one piece. So, we're going to move on to the next area. We went through Grubbin World and Trabog World. And we're probably knowing where we're going up ahead. But we'll do that next episode. Because I've been bad and haven't said goodbye in the previous past couple episodes. I'm assuming three by this point. So, take it easy. One. Take it easy. Two. Take it easy, guys. And I'm even.